All right, I put uh, the, the undefeated aside. I'm gonna work on this clay and get it to a point where it can go to the foundry if I need to make it go to the foundry because um, this is one of the uh, three or four pieces that will be taken to uh, Las Vegas. I'm not going to Las Vegas, but my clays are going to Las Vegas. And uh, I got to get them ready to uh, do some traveling. And also I have to increase the size of my base because this base is way too small. All right, I'm gonna get busy on this. Time to play with some clay. Now I've got to make sure my blanket is the same size or width at the top as it is at the bottom. And the way I'm going to do that is I've got this real thin aluminum wire that I'm going to measure the blanket at the top by running it because this is a stretched out part of the blanket. So this is the absolute width of the blanket. Wow, guessed it almost perfect. All right, the key is to make the top the same width as the bottom. And so I'm gonna take right here on the edge of the blanket, try to run it. the full width curves and all and you can see I'm off two inches so I need to bring the blankets uh, bottom edge out two inches which also means I'm going to have to go another two inches on this this side too that's a kind of little thing I came up with on how to measure blankets so that I'm not making big mistakes. Okay, be right back. All right, I've rolled clay through my pasta machine and I doubled up the clay. I rolled it through at the thickest level. Now I'm joining the two because I have to have a two inch uh, bottom here. All right, I need to join <coughs> the clay, and I'm gonna do that with my sculpting tool here. So anyway, I'll be back after I get this joined up, and then be, just as I start to uh, put it on the blanket. You're gonna see a marked difference in the look of the blanket once I get this fixed, I think. At least I hope. All right, I've got the straight edge down. There we go. Now I need to measure the length 13 yep right there so I'll just trim that off I need to thin off the uh, edge 
of the blanket. I know this must be boring to you guys, but sculpting isn't always exciting. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to do the other, the back part, because I've also got to increase the width of that, and uh, I'll be right back. All right, I've joined the final piece in the back. I'm going to texture the whole back of the, or the whole blanket. All right, I'm going to have to call it quits. It's getting late in the afternoon. It took me a a while to figure all this out how to do this I still got this edge here I want to clean up but I also have to find out how thick the uh, stripe would be and also uh, where the uh, points would be on the blanket you can see uh, at some point uh, this has fallen against something and has uh, flattened an area back there on the uh, back of her head and as you can see I have ears to do yet I'm going to use this uh, black tape to show you where the beadwork's going to go it's going to go right up oop, this electrician's tape the beadwork's going to go right across the back of the blanket it's going to go all the way to the end I just I just tore off a piece but that gives you kind of an idea where the bead works. I also need to do work on her hands. Her hands are just in dire need of being sculpted. But I'll get that. You can see that I got really stumpy thumbs. <laughs> they got to be just a little bit better. Than this that. piece deserves a, a real good name, a real good title. I'm going to have to figure that one out. Prairie wind. I don't know. All right. Good night, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. If I'm able to. Also, I see that her forehead's a little sunken right there. So I've got to uh, bring that out just a little bit. Little things that... After I've been away from it for a while, I can see now. I couldn't see before. Because you, you work on something, you get really close to it, and you don't see things. And uh, you have to kind of step away sometimes before you can actually see what's going on. All right. Good night, everybody. See you tomorrow. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.